So this is leak code problem ID 1672, richest customer wealth. So you are given an M by N integer grid accounts where accounts I of J is the amount of money the ith customer has in the jth bank. So this is kind of, and then we want to return the wealth that the richest customer has. So this is kind of like a weird way of phrasing it. So I'm just going to get this test case over here and kind of like explain what's happening. So basically, if we reorganize this and we reorganize it in a fashion such that basically I'm just going to write this array in a different way. So if we like have these here, so basically we have, so it's the ith customer has in the jth bank. So for each row, it's a different customer. So this customer has these bank accounts, one, two, and three. And then this customer has these bank accounts, three, two, and one. Uh, we wanna find the richest customer. So to find the richest customer, it's the sum of all the money in all of their accounts. So what we wanna do is we wanna go through each customer and then go through each account in that customer, sum them up, and then take the max. And it's as straightforward as that. So we want our res and we want to return our res. So this res is going to be the amount of money that the richest customer has. So basically following that logic, we want to go through each row in accounts. Now each row in accounts is the customer. So I'm going to call this a customer. And then we're going to loop through accounts. And then what we want to do is we want to sum up all the accounts that that customer has. So let's just keep a sum variable to sum up the accounts that that customer has. And we're just gonna simply go through each account. So I'm gonna call this an account of customer. So this is going through each account in customer. And we went through each customer in accounts. So what we wanna do is we just wanna add this account to the sum. And then this result, we wanna find the richest customer. So we're gonna set a new max if need be. So we're gonna take the max of the current result and the current sum. And then this is going to get us ultimately the richest customer because we went through all the accounts of that customer, we sum them up, and then we're setting a new max sum. So let's go ahead and run this. And we'll see we get six here. And let's submit this. And we'll see that everything works out perfect. So this is a 2D array, so let's talk about um, time and space complexity. So right away, space complexity is constant. So let's go time and space. So space complexity is constant. And this is because we don't use any extra space beyond just these variables here. And we're just going through the accounts. Now time, you see a for loop and an inner for loop. So you're probably thinking that it's O n squared, but that is not true. The time complexity can be represented as O of n if n is the amount of total amount of accounts but a better way to represent this is o m and n o m times n now this is because m would be the number of customers and n would be the number of accounts or the max number of accounts per customer and that's the worst case so this is kind of just going through time and space complexities of this solution. So again, very easy problem, but I just wanted to walk through it and hopefully I could help out. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it.